Should you start your Dungeons & Dragons campaign gently or with a bang? The stereotypical way that people start their D&D campaigns um, is you meet in a tavern. Dot, dot, dot. Now, obviously, that's so stereotypical that you can find all sorts of jokes about that on the internet. Uh, lots and lots of jokey YouTube videos. But to be honest, uh, as with so many other tropes, it's become a trope because it sort of works. Um, there, there are good advantages to having your player characters meet for the first time in a typical fantasy tavern. Everybody knows what a fantasy tavern is like. It gives the player characters the opportunity to introduce themselves to the other player characters. And for players, it's a chance to have a little bit of role playing before you get into any difficult, risky situations involving combat and dying and making complicated spell rolls or whatever. And there is an advantage for you as the Dungeon Master, which is that it's a very easy way to drop in some important plot elements quite subtly. Sort of subtly, at any rate. Uh, you're over here, two local peasants at the next table. Typical farming types, eking out uh, their one copper piece bottles of grog for as long as they can manage. One of them says to the other, I hear old Watt says he saw some goblins at that local ruined castle up over northern side. If they don't if they don't think there are goblins, first level, ruined castle, hmm, introductory adventure, then you know, of course there's no guarantee that players being what they are, that they actually grab onto this not so subtle hint, but you know, you, you can only do what's best. An alternative to the gentle start is the action start, where you actually start the campaign literally mid-combat. You're attacked. Roll for initiative. Now that can be great. It's an exciting way to start a campaign. There are some disadvantages too. Um, in particular, if your group is a mix of more experienced and less experienced players, particularly at this, this rule system, let's say you're playing Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition, uh, which has a really quite a complex set of rules, particularly around combat, then the first experience of your of your campaign, possibly the first experience of a role-playing game, is going to be a little bit bewildering for your new players. And there's always the risk that an experienced player ends up telling the newbies what they should do. Alter, or, or maybe not that, but maybe the, the new player doesn't actually really know what he can or can't do with his character. Um, he, he looks at all these special abilities and he, he has a vague understanding of what a bonus action is, but I'm not quite sure how many he gets. And he, he knows he, he can cast spells. He doesn't really know which spells. He doesn't, he doesn't know what the spells can do. And okay, he could look it up by clicking through the player's handbook or clicking through on D&D &D Beyond or whatever. But for his first combat, maybe he thinks, oh, I don't know, I'll, I'll hit it with my mace. So in either of those two situations, the, the hit it with my mace because it's too complicated to think of anything else to do, or, oh, Mr. Experienced Player, you tell me what to do. I'll just sit here and be a passenger. Neither of those are really fun for the new player, so that's maybe to be avoided. As we'll come to later, I, I think there is a third solution which you might want to investigate. But I want to show you some uh, examples from fantasy literature of the gentle start and the action start to show that I think both work really well in the right setup. Uh, an example of a fantasy novel, a famous fantasy novel, with a very gentle start would be the Lord of the Rings. The, the gentlest of gentle stars. I don't think anybody would say that the Lord of the Rings is not a good uh, not a good uh, fantasy novel. Here's, here's the first paragraph of chapter one of The Lord of the Rings. When Mr Bilbo Baggins of Bad End announced that he would shortly be celebrating his 11st birthday with a party of special magnificence, 
there was much talk and excitement in Hobbiton. Very gentle introduction. And, you know, nothing wrong with that. And in fact, in The Lord of the Rings, it's an important part of the plot that the characters are not adventuring types until it's thrust upon them. Uh, certainly the four hobbits. And I think the author is deliberately starting things off gently before we get to the war and death and destruction later on. Entirely natural. For an entirely different approach, uh, an actual proper action start, um, let's look to Jar Abercrombie's The Blade itself, which is the first book in the Book of the First Law trilogy. Here's how this starts. Logan plunged through the trees, bare feet slipping and sliding on the wet earth, the slush, the wet pine needles, breath rasping in his chest, blood thumping in his head. He stumbled and sprawled onto his side, nearly cut his chest open with his own axe, lay there panting, peering through the shadowy forest. The dogman had been with him until a moment before, she was sure, but there wasn't any sign of him now. As for the others, there was no telling. Some leader getting split up from his boys like that. He should have been trying to get back, but the Shanko were all around. He could feel them moving between the trees. His nose was full of the smell of them. It sounded as if there was some shouting somewhere on his left, fighting maybe. Logan crept slowly to his feet, trying to stay quiet. A twig snapped, and he whipped round. There was a spear coming at him, a cruel-looking spear, coming at him fast, with a Shanko on the other end of it. Shit, said Logan. That's an action start. So you might want to consider the action start instead of the gentle we meet in a tavern kind of start. But again, like I said, there are problems with the action start. There might be a way round that, which is the action start on an individual player, player character basis. So when you sat with with your players and you're sat maybe you're sat with them individually as they generate their characters and you help them and see how you know what they roll and so on. Maybe immediately after that, for, for each player character, you do an action start just for that one character. That means that you as the DM can can help the player character can help the player to understand their character sheet and what options they have. And you can take as much time as you like over a round of combat without feeling that you're holding up the other players around. And you can do that for every player character. If you really want to be clever. Um, let's say you're doing the character generation, your session zero, if you like, and this individual player character action start. Let's say you're doing that the week before you're going to start the campaign proper. So you've got then a week to decide that maybe actually the outcome of these action starts, that's how the player characters are going to meet. Maybe they all manage to beat the goblins they're attacked by individually and each character follows the track the trail from where these goblins attacked and they meet up outside the goblin caves uh or maybe some of the characters didn't manage to beat the goblins they were attacked by and they were knocked unconscious and taken prisoner by the goblins and we're going to start the campaign actually with two of the characters in prison in the goblin caves and the other characters just outside that prison in the Goblin Cave is about to rescue them, and that's how they're going to meet. So you've got the advantage there of an action start, an exciting start, and you don't have the risk that the player characters go off and do something that you hadn't prepared for, because if they can't follow that really, really unsubtle clue as to what the first adventure is, then there's really no hope for you. But you also get the you get around that disadvantage of the players not the particularly the new players not being able to really grasp the rule system at this point and being afraid that they're going to get in people's way or do the wrong thing or just took too long to make a decision or not know what they can do and not know what they can't do so the action start per individual pc maybe think of that as a good way to start your next campaign particularly if you've got a mix of more experienced and less experienced players 